constructed in 1818 for naval hero Stephen Decatur and his wife, the Decatur House is known as one of the oldest homes left in Washington, D.C. Today, it is a museum showcasing African American history in an effort to distract tourists from the true nature of this house's grim past. Many visitors to the Decatur House often complain of severe stomach pain that have been so traumatic that the person will need to grab hold of any nearby furniture just to keep them from falling. In the most extreme cases, these unfortunate tourists will need to rush to the restroom in order to vomit, or even worse, they will discover signs of eternal bleeding several days after their visit, and their doctors will be unable to provide an adequate explanation for this. The unexplained stomach pain is the paranormal result of the ghostly influence that the late Stephen Decatur holds over the property. You see, he died in his bedroom after suffering two days of excruciating agony from being shot in the abdomen during a duel with Commodore James Barron. Now, why would two U.S. naval leaders engage in such a deadly duel? Well, you see, Commodore Barron actually wanted Decatur dead after his role in stripping him of his command at, as a result of a naval incident that happened in 1807. You see, Barron, he commanded the USS Chesapeake, and when it was attacked by the British HMS Leopard, Barron offered almost no resistance and surrendered. The British were after deserters, and they tried four sailors, hanging one and sentencing the rest to brutal punishment. And as a result of his cowardice and poor leadership, James Barron was stripped of his duty for five years. Stephen Decatur, he sat on the jury uh, in the court-martial that convicted him. In 1820, after years of bitterness, Barron tracked down uh, Decatur and challenged him to a duel. Despite Decatur being in the right, Barron shot his enemy right in the gut. Then Commodore James Barron was quickly rushed to his home, where several doctors tried in vain to save the naval hero. Even after three attempts at sewing the wound, Decatur's blood soaked through every single set of bed sheets in the house. And it is said that Decatur shouted out, I did not know that any man could suffer such pain. And eventually it became too much to bear, and the Commodore succumbed to his wounds, sending his wife into uncontrollable hysterics and weeping until she had to be sedated, and she never fully recovered from her husband's loss. Decatur's ghost appeared almost immediately after his death. He is often seen gazing uh, through the upstairs window, watching the street as if he was anticipating the arrival of Baron. The apparition appeared so often that, in fact, the window was eventually walled up. Others still caught a glimpse of him uh, in the early hours, rushing out the back door with pistols in hand. Perhaps Decatur is, must relive that fateful duel over and over again. Perhaps he hopes that one time he'll prevail. One can only hope, though, that at least in death, the excruciating pain that he felt has dissipated.